Hello my friends and welcome to a new video for Infinity Kingdom. This is Biak here, an official brace officer. And I'm currently going to talk about Demonic Contract, Tower of Knowledge skill. This skill is a Blessings of Trace skill. You can only unlock it uh, through the Blessings of Trace. And currently you can purchase some skills from the recharge gifts. And after that selling the shards and re-purchase uh, the Demonic Contract shards from the blessings of trace shop after the blessings of trace rework for the blessings of trace it will cost you around 120 dollar a uh, total of uh, the price of the full skill and also you are going to get one full artifact as a bonus for a, a, any element earth or water or fire depends on the uh, like the promoted artifact in the shop <coughs> So uh, what it says or the skill description, it will decrease your damage by 50 percentage, 5 plus 10 percentage for level 8. And every 3 seconds after the battle starts, you gain 10 percentage increased damage up to maximum uh, 15 time. So it will decrease your damage by 50 percentage, but it will increase your damage by 150 percentage. It will increase your damage uh, like three times the damage you decreased in the first of the early game but at least you will need 15 seconds uh, for the first 15 seconds to regain the 50 percent damage you already uh, lost after that after the 15 seconds you will keep increasing the damage uh, afterwards the buff you are going to get uh, so it is going to debuff you in the first early 15 seconds but after 15 seconds uh you will be the same as the start of the game for a normal game without the skill and after that it will give you the full uh damage after 45 seconds and we can count that you are going to get buffs after 15 seconds and you will get more stronger after 30 seconds because after 3 seconds you will reach the 100 damage and I recommend using this skill uh, on a mage because mages do a lot of uh, damage especially I'm using this skill right now on Loki I will tell you why I'm using this skill on Loki and why you should use this skill on some uh, marches while you will not use these skills on other marches let me just show you the full uh, marches here on the arena because currently I'm using some mortals in the uh, Harbor Exploration, for example, I'm using the Fire Marsh here. I'm using on Empress who a Spell Disintegrator, Chase, and Annihilation. I really like the Fire Marsh and I am falling in love in the Fire Marsh meta. But I don't use a uh, Demonic Contract in the Fire Marsh because I have my, uh, like, let me show you here my reasons. I'm using Rage Blessing and I'm also using War Blessing because my fire marsh deal lots of damage in the first early game so i don't want to debuff any fire immortal in the first early game especially in the first 15 seconds and demonic contract will debuff your my immortal in the first 15 seconds and after 15 seconds i will reach my normal damage but after that i will keep getting buffs for my damage to be increased so for the first 15 seconds for my own fire marsh build i'm so much happy with what i'm having here especially my hibbert i'm using here as a war machine and also i'm using no escape to prevent my enemy team from gaining some early energy and causing some stuns i'm using cyrus also to cause some stuns with his ultimate skill and i'm increasing this chance by 10 percentage by using his exclusive effect i'm using also energy suppression so I don't want to debuff my immortals. I want to buff them to deal lots of damage. I'm even trying to reconsider my uh, like fire uh, dragon uh, talent here, but I'm satisfied right now because it sometimes buff Hippolyta and Embersu at the same time. Uh, so my point of view that my fire marsh is doesn't have any chance to use demonic contract, especially my Embersu. And also my lightning here, I used to use demonic contract on Himiko. And I'm going to tell you why I removed the demonic contract on Himiko. Even though it was working, I didn't uh, say it wasn't working, but 
I used to use uh, demonic contracts here because Tokugawa and Richard we have here double defensive immortal in the front lane and also Tokugawa is providing lots of shields especially uh, against physical damage and also doing lots of debuffs for the enemy team especially if you are going to use the same build as I'm using here versus Mixed Marshes I'm using Richard uh, also with Weakening Curse uh, Toxin Barrier so Demonic Contract could be used here on Himiko and giving some debuffs for the first early uh, 12 or 15 seconds and after that Himiko will deal lots of damage massive numbers of damage even though Himiko alone will deal the most of the damage using just the some of the shields providing from Tokugawa and some debuffs from uh, Richard using Toxin Barrier and Weakening Curse. Even though on Jinkies I'm using some basic skills but I saw lots of numbers on Himiko uh, using a Demonic Contract. Sadly I don't have any rewards for Himiko using Demonic Contract right now. After I switched to Earth Loki, Loki now is using Demonic Contract alongside with Battle Stance. Combining these uh, mixed skills here are amazing. Because Battle Stance also debuff the Immortal Forest for the first 20 seconds. After that, uh, it gives lots of damage and lots of energy regen. And for the Demonic Contract, it deals lots of uh, damage. Even though my Alexander is a monster, a living monster here, I'm dealing lots of damage uh, by using Loki Demonic Contract. Let me check my ranking. I might attack Faction because he is my friend and I like to abuse my friends. So <laughs> we just here. Oh, he abused me. So we can see the reward here. Uh, okay, his Earth Loki, uh, RNG, my Earth Loki. So here we can see that Loki uh, didn't deal lots of damage, even though my Alex did uh, lots of damage. Uh, in the fights that er ends early, we don't expect to see lots of numbers. We can expect to see lots of numbers if the match uh lasted uh, more than 50 seconds but because we lost lots of troops here we didn't deal lots of damage by using uh my look uh we can see any reports here defense speed by ken oh he was using mixed march that i will not insult him okay uh, here fish pass this is a defense my alex dealt some damage even though my Loki artifact isn't uh, yet maximized, I have these stores, but this server with crit rate annihilation. So if it is magical attack, it would deal lots of damage rather than the crit rate. But we can see in the next reward here, other Earth uh, Loki with Dora is better than my Earth Loki with Zunu. And let me check faction. Yeah, he's using Theodora. That's why I lost because I used Blood Vortex and I didn't. Uh, put in mind that Blade Vortex will be cancelled by his Dora and he's using Blade Vortex while I'm using Zenobia so of course he'll, his Alex is uh, dealing lots of damage and we can see Demonic Contract on the other side here his Alex, his Luki, sorry his Luki dealt lots of damage using Crate Rate with a Deadly Artifact using also Demonic Contract and Annihilation we can see the Annihilation will deal lots of damage using Demonic Contract and also uh, like Battle Stance. We can check all of his uh, like reports here as uh, results because he's using the same setup and instead of he's using uh, Annihilation rather than me. I can switch to Annihilation as well because I like this skill. He deals lots of skills. Uh, damage even though he's using uh, deadly rather than I'm using annihilation and this is a bad use of my artifact but I didn't get better artifact than him and that's all for this video guys thank you all for watching and see you soon